Hi guys, it's M here. So, after reading an article about pathological liars, I decided to break down some of Greg's videos so we could take a closer look at some of the common tricks and behaviours that he uses to manipulate people. Making yourself aware of the common tricks a pathological liar uses can help you detect their problematic behaviours and know not to trust them. Most chronic liars actively lie to avoid accountability. Be wary of someone who always seems to bring up others instead of themselves. Greg uses made up scenarios of uh, the royal family, the Pope, uh, Trump as encoded messages. Now this is to justify his claims and deflect the burden of proof. America, Russia, Israel, England, plus and the no Pope, Pope and the Archbishop of Canterbury. And nobody contested these documents? Well, they've accepted them all by passive acquiescence and cognitive avoidance. Pope's abdicated, the Queen's abdicated, and I've been named in movies, I've named myself in the documents with these titles, given the reasons and the history of why I have these titles, and it's been accepted. Sorry, sorry, I just have to tell you something. I just During our time filming with Greg, there were several occasions where he received phone calls giving him vital intel drops about the ongoing worldwide situation. What he's gonna tell me, or what he just told me right now. And that's why the Catholic Church folded. I mean, this is a, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it gets huge, it yeah. gets huge. And it, yeah, the Queen's abdicated, the Pope's abdicated, the royal family stood aside, Prince Charles is using body doubles, Queen Elizabeth II is using body doubles, Prince Philip's not appearing, Prince Andrew's been ousted, Prince Harry voluntarily walked away, and Prince Edward is a convicted pedophile in New Zealand. Francisco Manuel, he was oh, my yeah. co-author, he had the sword, we were chosen to represent the End Times New Age. Which is where we are now. Uh, yeah, we did it in 2014, and it's now 2020, and people are feeling it. Yeah, right? yeah. Last couple of days. Well, it's been around. great having a film crew around for that. I mean, yeah. you know, that's a huge affirmation. Yeah. Not only that, is you know, we've been working intensely for about four days. Yeah. And no one's ever shouted bullshit. You know. No. You know, and, you know what I mean? I mean you're, like, you're a big burly fella. The, the other guy's a big burly fella. You, you, you're big fighters in that. And, <laughs> no, you know, he is. You kind of, <laughs> you kind of. Um, burly real men, you know? Yeah. And you just you just ask more and they tell you more and you get a bit more activated, you yeah. integrate a bit more, you go off and have a chat by yourselves. Yeah, and yeah, go, yeah. No, so I, this I, isn't bullshit. I, you know? Well, you, you... Someone who needs to convince you something is going to repeatedly insist on it as if they are hammering a lie into your head. Maybe that is why chronic liars use phrases such as honestly and to tell you the truth and it's true and truthfully you will notice that Greg uses these a lot. You know, honestly, <coughs> honestly, when you get a proper initiation and you get knighted with a sword yeah. and you've earned it and yeah. it's all genuine. <sighs> Feels great. You know, <laughs> just. Because <laughs> <laughs> you claim <laughs> the cl madness, isn't it? Well, it's true. Yeah. You know, it's true. What's actually going to happen is the crown and the orb and the scepter and the sword are going to be left on the throne. The gate's going to be open. I'm going to walk in and I'm going to sit down on the chair. Someone's going to put the crown on my head, take a photo, and we're going to send that around the world, and then we'll have a ceremony later. Wow. That's actually what's going to happen. It seems. Uh, we're doing it, and be part of it, and come along for the ride. It's happening. It's absolutely happening. It's a ranga, the awakening. So when you recount a story, you do it from memory. Now memories shift and fade and change over time. So you may get a few things wrong as you try and straighten out what you remember and translate it into words. Now, chronic liars do not like to make mistakes. Now this sometimes means that they try to give too much detail, mainly because they know they have to be convincing. They work hard memorizing oddly specific details of their stories so they can tell them over and over again. They may say the exact time something happened, down to the last minute, or describe colours and observations most people wouldn't have noticed going about their day. <laughs> Chronic liars are famous for embellishing fanciful tales to make themselves look more positive after all. And Greg is no different. And uh, I was given the key on the 10th of April 2014. This is the key? This is the key. And then I found out that Sir Walter Raleigh was my ancestor. And um, when I finished these books, it just tipped over from winter into summer season. I was living 100 metres from the coast in the Algarve. 
So I went down to Bonneka, had a coffee and a beer. I thought, where am I going to live? You know. So and I just had this memory that I wanted to live in a cave in Europe, and it was like it was warm enough. Yeah. So I just wandered for 45 minutes, found a cave, and um, they were building a walkway above it. So I got the offcuts, threw them down into the cave, created a level platform, and just slept on the ground, and then got an airbed, and then slept on that. Uh, I was there for about 123 days, but because of giant waves coming up, hitting the 40 foot cliff face and going up another 50 feet, I, I didn't sleep there the entire time, so I slept there 100 days. And then I found out that Sir Walter Raleigh had also been to that cave on the 23rd of April 1968, nine and a half months after my meeting with King George VI's son, natural biological son, the coin started to appear Elizabeth II Greg. And that went on, that was first on the 5p coin, actually before decimalization. And then it was last on the two pound coin on the 10th of June, 1998. And that was 11,011 days apart. And 11 means the letter M, so it's spelled M zero M. Uh, the sword was given to me at 10 p.m. on leap day 2012. And I was instructed to sleep with it and then hold it up to the castle that night. What's the name of this? Uh, that morning. Uh, it's the sword of the Duke of Sachin Coburg and Gotha. But <laughs> so holding the highest sword on the planet up to Moorish Castle on the 1st of March 2012 was my initiation into the House of David. <laughs> that, Strange, how did, you know? How did that feel? <laughs> and that night I went to the steps of the Parthenon and you just stand out there. The Greek people just stand on the steps and get the breeze, look at people, talk if you want to, and look at the view. Yeah. And the steps are about 15 metres wide, and across <coughs> from the other side of the steps appeared to be Donald Trump at that age. And the Pope actually said it. He named me on Easter Friday, 2020, just before he disappeared. Um, actually, I'll, I'll put it in order. On my mother's 85th birthday, eight and five is 13, so that's 12 plus one, um, Pope Francis abdicated the title Vicar of Christ. Right? And then on the 10th of April, six days later, he, he gave a speech and the empty Vatican and said, uh, Joseph, Joseph of Arimathea. And then there was a big pause where the camera pans out across the Vatican. There's no word spoken, it's a big shot, empty room, come back. And then it goes, Gregory, St. Gregory the Great. Right, and my name's Joseph Gregory. So he was addressing me, and then he says, um, his documents, not a bone of it can be broken. You know, it's fantastic. I mean, they're really, really chillingly alluding to me, you know, and then, and then on the Sunday, Pope disappears. I had toppled Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands and toppled King Juan Carlos of Spain, and that was on the 31st of May 2014 at 10am. That was when he started to announce that he was, that King Juan Carlos was going to abdicate. And I had the Portuguese Navy come to my sea view about 50 metres away and be there for 15 minutes and then be there for 10 minutes yeah. and get a, um, a rubber dinghy that they have, you know, yeah. offload it and then go up and down my coastline to make a very obvious sign to me. Coastline was only about 60 yards wide. On the other hand, there is also a flip side to this. Some chronic liars will omit all detail and answer very shortly or briefly when asked a question. This is because they want to avoid releasing extra information that might be used to out them as liars. Uh, this would explain Greg's reluctance to properly address the videos with his sisters and mum. Uh, he brushes it off, liking it to Cinderella and the jealous sisters, uh, repeating, repeating he hasn't had any contact with them for years, uh, calling them drugs. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you see anything else in Greg's videos where he could be lying, please drop it in the comments below and follow M Seeker of Truth. Intuition and fantasies come true, but from it's other people. Interesting that <laughs> all the, all the how it must feel.